Saggies! Welcome to your love reading for July 12th to the 21st for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Just bear with me, guys. I'm still pretty jet lagged and dehydrated, and my throat chakra is not happy. So I might have to stop and drink a lot of water, but just bear with me, okay? So, Saggies, <laughs> I gotta be honest, there's a lot of confrontational energy coming your way. I don't think you're gonna see it coming. I think it is gonna take you off guard and I feel like there's gonna be a very, very quick ending happening there, okay? I did hear, let me tell you something. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. And Sag, you know, I feel like you've done really well for yourself, the Sagi group that I'm tapped into. <clears throat> I feel like you've done really, really well for yourself and you're feeling really good about things. And you know, when people are happy and doing good, it pisses low vibrational people off. It just does. Even if you think that you're a friend, even if they think, oh, they're my family, like they're going to be happy for me. Yeah, not everyone's going to be happy for you. All right. And someone's basically stepping to you and telling you so. Okay. Um, and I feel like it's almost like they're going to be pointing out things about you that they, that they feel are are not cool okay <laughs> that they feel are kind of <clears throat> excuse me are things that you need to be called out on i'm just the messenger that's what they think but like i said sag i feel like when they step to you it's going to be a, a, a confrontation and a very quick one at that okay but like i said i feel like you've done really well for yourself i did see rock climbers i feel like i've seen that for you guys before at least this year so maybe it's that same group of maybe you guys like to rock climb right but like i said you you've climbed the mountaintop right like i said you've done well for yourself and you don't need to apologize for shit and you don't need to answer to anybody for your success or your happiness all right just because someone wants to hate but anyway i do feel like this is going to be a little unexpected i feel like the person that's going to be confronting you is going to surprise you that's kind of the feeling i was getting but let's get into the pre-shuffle we have ten of swords gemini energy with the two of cups cancerian energy so definitely a major ending happening to a, a soul a soul excuse me a soul connection of sorts and i do feel like it i feel like it's more in the realm of friends as opposed to family i do feel like it's in the more realm of friends but it can be family or it can even be a co-worker um <clears throat> excuse me someone that you essentially have a soul connection with now looky here i uh, know six of pentacles uh taurian energy with the ace of wands i do feel that this ending that's coming and i do feel like it's coming i don't think it's happened yet it could have happened for some of you because it's energy we all work through energy differently but whatever this ending is it's leading to something that feels very very good for you honestly you're gonna come out of it feeling awesome feeling like all right drop that sandbag off my boat <laughs> i don't need that sandbag anymore and you're coming into a bit of a new kind of energy inspired i'm getting inspired it's almost going to give you a burst of energy um and you're going to feel a lot more balanced i think this relationship whatever it's been sag whether you realize it or not i think after the fact you're going to realize <clears throat> i know guys i know i think after the fact after this ending you're going to realize is a very imbalanced situation or that this person was kind of taking of your energy i feel like i feel like really um unreasonable expectations actually is kind of what's coming out here um they had a lot of unreasonable expectations on you and it's going to really lighten your load and make you feel a lot more balanced and again inspired and having a lot more energy to kind of go about whatever it is you want to do moving forward okay at look at this eight of cups piscean energy in the chariot cancer and energy yeah you're get you're like bye 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 there's the door <laughs> you you want to say this out or the other about me bye i don't need to deal with this um i do feel a lot of travel energy too sag which i'm not surprised you are saggies um both the chariot that is that is movement and indicative of travel you could even move you could even be planning an actual move or you could just you know want to go and have some fun feeling inspired to have a new adventure you know it could just be that after you lighten your load i find saggies do like to do that when they've gone through an unpleasant experience they kind of need a little bit of a break <laughs> Um, especially when it comes to ending of relationships, I find Saggy's always like, you know what? Let me dip out for the weekend. Let me just, let me just disappear for a little bit and go have an adventure. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I know. It was making me crazy. Uh, but I was like, I gotta do readings. I gotta do readings. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's get into the reading. Anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. <clears throat> any messages for my saggies regarding love july 12th to the 21st any messages for my saggies regarding love july 12th to the 21st 
Actually, guys, I need more water, so <laughs> I'm going to pause already, but sorry, guys. Just give me a minute, okay? Okay, Saggies, let's get back to it. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, July 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, July 12th to the 21st? <laughs> They're showing me a unicorn. I love that. You guys are unicorns. You're definitely unicorns. Um... Honestly, I just feel like, you know, the group that I'm tapped into, like I said, you've done really well for yourself. Uh, and, and that's reflecting. It's reflecting. You are a unicorn. You stick out. You stand out. And people notice you. People notice you. And this person doesn't like it. This person does not like it. Um, this is a love relationship. I don't think, I really don't think it is. I really don't feel like it is. It feels more a friendship than anything else. Uh, for some of you, it could be a friend who does have feelings for you. And maybe they don't like, excuse me, all the attention that you're getting. <clears throat> Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, July 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, July 12th to the 21st? <clears throat> Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, July 12th to the 21st? <laughs> Oh, oh my god, Sajis, you guys are cracking me up. After I said that unicorn comment, like seriously, I heard some of you guys say, like say to yourself, yeah, I am a unicorn, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, Sag, stop it. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? July 12th to the 21st. Queen of Swords, Libra energy, could also be air or water. Yeah, see, Sag, I feel like this is your energy. You're, you're really not putting up with shit. It's like, you're really gonna step to me and say that? Like, you're really gonna try to challenge me on just who I am as a person and my success? I don't answer to you. I feel like some of you are really gonna say that. I don't answer to you. You're not my boss, you don't write my check. I don't answer to you, okay? <laughs> oh, Sag, this is gonna be a fun reading. <clears throat> All right, any messages for my Saggies? Regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. People are funny, man. People are really funny when it comes to being jealous of other people's success. Like, I don't even understand that, honestly. I was just talking to Jason about this yesterday. Um, I don't understand that. Like, I don't understand how people can be so jealous of other people's success. It's like, why wouldn't you want to just be happy for other people, you know? But, hey, a little vibrational people, right? Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. Yeah, see, you're just you're just gonna keep it pushing. You're gonna keep it moving on, and if you're gonna do with grace, you are gonna do with grace. You might do a little bit of attitude too, honestly, Sag, because you guys are very blunt, and this person is being very blunt with you, so you're just gonna be blunt back. Why not, <laughs> right? Why not? And you're just gonna keep it pushing. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got. People, any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love? July twelfth to the twenty first. Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love? July 12th to the 21st. Oh, all right. Oh, look at you, Sag. Knight of Wands. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo with, oh, wow. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. <clears throat> Don't be perturbed. I just felt your energy shift. I just felt your energy shift when I showed you that. Jesus, I can't talk. Ah. I just felt your energy shift when I showed you this card. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I feel like, again, you've worked really hard. You are being successful. This is what's in your grasp is this Ten of Pentacles energy. Um, if this is a family member, because it is, you know, some people are really friendly with their family members. If this is a family member, it's just really alluding to that, right? <clears throat> that people in your family are not exactly happy for you. And Saj, you know, this person might be confronting you, but you got more than one person who feels this way about you. And I think you're going to realize that after this little conversation takes place. Yeah. Sag, it's going to make you start to really kind of think like, damn, who can I actually trust and who can I not trust? It's going to make you kind of reevaluate the people in your life, which isn't a bad thing. You know, I actually think that's a really good thing. There's a reason I keep my circle really tiny, <laughs> right? Um, it, it, you know, it's, it's cool to have a lot of people in your life. It's cool to have a lot of friends. But honestly, guys, you know. Keeping a tight little circle of people who you know are really trustworthy, I think is actually very beneficial for anybody who is coming into any kind, any kind of success because people can become jealous and because people have issues being happy for other people. Overall energy, we do have the hair font in reverse, Taurian energy. Oh my. <clears throat> 
yeah, I'm actually feeling like breaking of contracts and breaking of agreements here. So for some of you, this could have been business related, like a business relationship, but I do feel like it's friend based. Whatever kind of relationship it is, at the core of it is friendship. At least so you thought. So you thought, because clearly this person is not your friend if they are, can't even be happy for you. But that's what I'm feeling with this. Breaking of contracts, breaking of agreements, <clears throat> breaking of bonds, breaking of bonds. But it's t it's too damn bad because you're, ch you're chasing your ten of pentacles. You're chasing your legacy. You're chasing your long-term stability and success. And if people want to hate, let them hate. It's hatery, it's hateration season, right? <laughs> um, and you're just going to keep it pushing and you're not going to put up with anyone's bullshit, all right? Well, let's look at the Six of Swords and see what else we can get off of this. I mean, he's right or wait to clarify. <clears throat> Tell me about Six of Swords. For Sagittarius, regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. About the Six of Swords for Sagittarius regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. <clears throat> Tell me about Six of Swords for Sagittarius. Ah, oh, see, I love that. Ten of Cups. Oh, 1122, as I saw that. Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. See, you're just you're making you're making your decisions about your long-term happiness and stability and success and getting away from all these people who want to hate on you for it especially this person who's challenging you and like i said you know sometimes things happen for a reason this person challenging you is going to make you reevaluate everyone in your life and as you should as you should as you chase your happy okay <clears throat> time of six of swords for sagittarius Tell me about Six of Swords. Ooh. Oh my, we got the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarian energy. Usually this is a very defeating energy where it's like, I'm actually getting Pitbull. I just heard Pitbull. Um, I think that's what this person's energy is like. I think they're very aggressive, which I think kind of, you, you kind of liked about them, Sag. I think that's what you two maybe even bonded over initially, that maybe you two have very strong personalities. <coughs> Excuse me. But unfortunately, they're turning this pit bull energy onto you. And when I say pit bull energy, first of all, I love pit bulls. I think they're the best. I freaking love pit bulls. If I could have one, I would. Um, I think they're very misunderstood. But anyway, neither here nor there. Um, this person has a tendency to like, when they latch onto an idea, especially if it's like calling someone out, they don't let go. They don't let go until they feel they're proven right. And it's gonna come down sad to, the, to you maybe just walking away. You know, it's like, it's going to turn to a confrontation. You're going to be blunt just as much as they're going to be blunt, but they're not going to let it go until you kind of submit and set, submit, excuse me. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I know you're not going to submit to them. You're going to walk away. You're definitely going to walk away because you're walking towards your happy. Okay. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Happiness is not where this person lies. Tell me more about the six of swords. For Sagittarius, regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Six of Swords for Sagittarius, regarding love. Overall energy, Two of Wands, making the choice to do so. You've already made the choice. It's already been made. You got. You literally have the world in your hands because you, do, you are coming into success because you've worked your ass off for it. You already have it. You already have part of the success you've been wanting and you're gonna reach your 10. You will reach your 10. And you, you made the decision to do so and to leave this person behind in the process. Wow. Uh, people are amazing. People are just amazing. So let's go over to this energy. You chasing your success, your stability, your legacy. Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And like I said, for those where this is a family issue, that is very much being highlighted here. Okay? I'm going to stick with this deck since we had a couple cards come out. <clears throat> Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, honestly, don't don't get caught in a loop with this person. And what I mean by that is, you know, people who just can't let go of shit. It's just like you share your opinion and they really don't give a shit. And they just bring it. They just repeat themselves over and over and over, trapping you guys in a loop of an argument where it's just going to be the same shit over and over and over again. Don't get trapped in that loop. Satch, don't get trapped in that loop. It's only about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> For Sagittarius. Regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Sagittarius. Regarding love, 
July 12th to the 21st. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see, you know, it's interesting. I'm picking up on another little energy going on here. So Taurian energy here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Again, this person... I really feel, Sag, that they've been very taking with you. And you really don't realize it until this conversation happens, until this confrontation happens. Um, maybe you gave them money. I feel like some of you even loaned this person money. I, that's coming in really strong. I think some of you did loan this person some money. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like they were keeping, they were holding you back. I'm just going to say it, Sag. They were holding you back. You didn't realize it. Now you do. And now you don't got to deal with them. And now you can really get your 10. Ooh. Okay, now you can really go and get your 10. Um, because I really feel like this was almost a roadblock as opposed to feeling like you don't have anything. Because I, I felt that energy. You guys have, have done well for yourself. It's not that you feel at a loss about anything. I really feel like it's more about a block. A block that's being lifted here with this conversation. Not to mention, you guys, you got two fives on the board. Feeling a tower. And we've got a five on the bottom. Definitely feeling a tower. Let's see world in reverse i love it fixed energy so aquarius leo taurus scorpio also saturn trolls capricorn and again more traveling energy along with the six of swords you guys could definitely be on the move quite a bit here but definitely letting this bullshit cycle end <clears throat> with having this block in your life this person created this block you just didn't realize it until now okay and that's okay that's why these things happen so i'm with the ten of pentacles in reverse for sagittarius regarding love July 12th to the 21st. <clears throat> Time about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. July 12th to the 21st. Time about Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. July 12th to the 21st. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it, Sag. Look at this. Ace of Swords. I almost said Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords, the sword of truth and clarity. You see, you're the intuitive fire sign. You see it. You see it now. And even as intuitive as we, we can be people, like, I don't know why I said it like that. My words are all over the place. As intuitive as we can be, as people, <laughs> uh, we, we, miss, we miss stuff sometimes. We do. We do. We miss stuff sometimes because of energetic blocks or we just don't really see what we're actually seeing. Right? Like sometimes we don't want to believe what we see. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, a phone call. Oh, I'm going to have to deal with that one later. Anyway, sometimes we don't really want to see the truth, right? But with this person confronting you, oh, you see the truth. Mm hmm. <laughs> you see the truth and the clarity, and you're moving into your new cycle um, with inspiration to, to really kind of really achieve your Ten of Pentacles, okay? Sorry, that really distracted me. Um, <clears throat> to get the inspiration that you need to really reach your Ten of Pentacles, because now this block. That this person has created in your life is being removed overall energy for the ten of pentacles in reverse look seven of cups in reverse you're dropping the confusion there's no confusion here you know how to get your ten of pentacles now this created a block seriously for you and you see the way you see the way now i love it oh gosh okay all right sag so that was pretty awesome let's go ahead and pull some advice for you i know it's kind of a short reading we didn't get that many cards but it seems very clear cut very clear cut. You're you're breaking contracts, agreements, bonds with people, specifically this person, because they created a block from getting to your full success. You've had some success, but you didn't make it all the way yet, right? And this person is just going to turn into a pit bull with you. Again, do not get stuck in the loop. Don't get stuck in the loop. You're just going to walk away and head towards your ten of cups because you already know what you need to do for yourself. You already know. And once you leave this person behind, you're going to have all the truth and clarity you need to get to your Ten of Pentacles, okay? Well, let's go ahead and pull some advice. <clears throat> Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Okay. See what we got here. 
Wow, so we have lizard spirit dream the world into being, 38 breaking down to an 11. So a manifestation energy along with koi fish spirit, there is always enough. 36 breaking down to a 9 completions, there is always plenty of fish in the sea. All right, no pun intended, but hey, pun intended, right? <laughs> um, I'm also getting there's more where that came from. <clears throat> That's what my guys just said. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, give me a minute. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Okay. My guides just said there's more where that came from. Like I said, this person might be confronting you, but there's more more than one person in your life who feels this way about you. And you're going to become very very um aware of that, okay? Get rid of these people because there's there's always better people you can have in your life. All right, upgrade. Upgrade your friends, essentially, okay? Upgrade your social circle. Manifest it, make it happen. Keep manifesting as well to get to your Ten of Pentacles, okay? All right, let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Any other advice or Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any other advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Okay, okay. Any other advice for my Sagittarians regarding this spread? All right, so we got two other cards out here. Okay, Mouse Spirit, tend to the small things. 40 breaking down to a four, so about foundations and your stability. Owl Spirit, you see clearly now, 43 breaking down to a seven, regarding your path, where you're supposed to go, how to get to your Ten of Pentacles, you see, right? What did I say? You have the clarity. And the intuition, you are Saji, you are the seer. You know which way to go here. You know which way to go. Intended to the small things definitely is about the details. Um, mm, I just heard small potatoes. Hold on, what's that about? If this is business for you guys, <clears throat> some of you could be business. If this is a business relationship, wow, I hate to say it like this, but hey, truth is truth, right? Plus your Saggies, I can be blunt with you. Um, this person is small potatoes. You're big potatoes. You're big potatoes, they're small potatoes. Um, and it's time to move on to bigger, bigger potato shit, okay? <laughs> Essentially, uh, for those where this is a business relationship, you've, you've outgrown them. You've outgrown them in a business sense and maybe it started as an equal partnership and maybe they weren't really pulling their weight or maybe you were able to have some more success on the side in your own right and now it's like, well, this is a very unbalanced relationship and maybe it does need to end, right? Um, but anyway, that was just a little download for somebody. But tend to the small things. This is about the details, okay? The details of your situation and how to and how to get where you want to go regarding your stability. Also, fine-tuning is what I'm hearing too. Yeah, fine-tuning by really clearing out the bullshitters in your life and people who really don't have your best interests at heart. You're seeing the rat. Oh my God, you're seeing the rats. <laughs> oh, spirit is so funny you're seeing the rats. I mean, I love mice and I actually really love rats. They're actually really interesting animals and rats are very intelligent. They actually make great pets, but neither here nor there. You're seeing the rats that you need to go and get rid of. The little pests that have run amok in your house, essentially. Your, you know, your house, your career house, your spiritual house, your house, your energy field. Time to call, the, time to call pest control. Time to call Dewey pest control, okay? <laughs> essentially wow and overall we do have white raven spirit trust in magic i freaking love this card especially because it doesn't come out that often 66 is a master number even though most people don't talk about it as a master number in numerology anyway but it is it is technically a master number i would consider it to be total balance and harmony within yourself and in, within your energy in order to do some intense crazy manifestation and trusting in magic trusting that things happen the way that they're supposed to happen trusting that great fortune can come your way if you put that energy out and manifest it you already know how to do that sad you already know how to do that right once you get rid of this rat and any others that you need to get rid of that's going to really skyrocket for you. That energy, your intuition, manifestation energy will really skyrocket and you will get your ton of pentacles, okay? All right, Sag, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great night, guys. Bye, Sagis. Namaste.